Hello, welcome to Vaden Online Training. In this introduction training, we are going to talk about basics of Vaden, what is Vaden, and we are going to focus more on Vaden 10. So, let's get started. What is Vaden? Vaden actually comes from uh, the origins of uh, the company. The company is a Finnish company, and it has somehow related to an old language, which means that uh, it's a reindeer. And you can see this clearly in our logo. So more or less it uh, looks like a reindeer. And you can see it also in our uh, little mascot on our t-shirts. Now, what is Vaden 10? Vaden 10 is a modern web application development platform. And in the next few slides, I'm going to explain a little bit more on that side. But before going that deep, let's go back and check how the Vaden framework evolved. So um, we have started around the year 2000 or 2001, and we have big milestones that happened around the years, for example, on 2002, 2005, 7, and so on. Uh, and if you are following the news, you, have, you are probably aware that Vaden Framework version 8 has been released early 2017. The biggest changes that we can see across uh, those milestones is that we started to have, for example, JAX on 2005, like the framework version 5. And then uh, starting from framework version 6, we started to use the, uh, the GWT, which is uh, a way to write components for the front end, but still on Java. And the biggest thing that we have in framework version 8 is that we started to adopt web components. So you don't necessarily have to use GWT for UI components, but you can also use web components. And to make things even evolve better, we started to make the so-called Vaden core elements, which are basically uh, our same uh, powerful UI elements, but written in a web component standard way, and they are uh, totally written on the front end without GWT. Now, moving forward, we created something called Flow, which is, um, a, you can call it a framework that is going to rely on the Vaden core elements and some other web components instead of GWT at all. That's basically, you can think about it as the evolution of our framework. We call it Vaden 10, the Vaden 10 that contains the flow as part of it, as well as Vaden core elements and some other tools. So how does it work? We can summarize everything in Vaden 10 in three main tools. The core elements, they are web components, standard web components written totally on the front end side. We have flow, which is the Java connector and we have the components API, which are the server side APIs, if you want to use the components on the server side. Components APIs are uh, going through flow to make the connection between the server side and the front end. And this all we call it the Vaden 10. You can think about it as Lego blocks. So building blocks to create a big thing, and we call it Vaden platform actually. So platform, what does it mean? Um, we can divide it into many phases. So uh, to start off, for example, for server-side Java developers or those people who used to use Vaden before, Vaden framework before, uh, more or less you will not see a big difference. Everything is in Java. You can write everything on the server side 100% on Java, nothing will change on that. Maybe the API signature will change a little bit, but uh, that's more or less everything. Other than that, uh, Vaden 10 using flow and server-side uh, component APIs will allow you to write everything in Java. And talking about the Java, let's um, take the first exercise uh, that's gonna give us a little bit hand on, on how Vaden flow look like. 